A distribution sampling program will include designated points of collection. These will include businesses, homes, and other points in the community. Once you've accessed a sampling point, prepare it for testing. In this illustration, the operator is taking off the aerator from the kitchen sink of a local business. Next, the operator takes a chlorine solution on a clean paper towel and briskly works it into the end of the fixture, ensuring to clean the threads of any debris. Next, the operator sprays the inside of the faucet with the chlorine solution, as well as on the outside. The operator then waits two minutes while the chlorine works to deactivate any bacteria that could be present around the faucet spout. The operator then lets the cold tap water run for at least two minutes to clear any lingering chlorine rinse and to assure a representative sample. Generally, water at a community sample point is left to run between two to five minutes depending on the distance from the distribution main. The operator takes the sample bottle and fills it to the 100 milliliter line without interrupting the flow from the faucet. The bottle cap is always carefully kept facing downward while the bottle is open to reduce the risk of a contaminant getting in on the inside surface of the bottle lid. Next, place the unique identifying label on the sample bottle. Complete the lab requisition documentation that came with the kit. You must document legibly. Record the collection date and time. You must ensure that AM or PM is included with the time of day. You must also include the name of the sample collector and the daytime phone number including area code. Alberta documentation may also require an access number and ESRD approval number if applicable. The collection site including legal land description or GPS coordinates and name and address of the agency where the lab report is to be returned. Check the current Alberta Health Services ProvLab Guide to Services to verify the requisition reporting requirements. Pack the sample in a cooler used only for potable water sample collection and keep the sample cool using only cool packs. Ice cube bags are not acceptable to the ProvLab for transporting samples. Take the sample to the designated sample drop-off point in your community as identified in your operations program. Be mindful to maintain the chain of custody at all times.